Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's a new day, another adventure. So we're gonna be hopping in here. We're gonna be getting some things done. Uh, and then we're gonna go explore. We're gonna see what's surrounding our, our base and around our area. Um, so first things first, let's go ahead and make ourselves a torch launcher. This is going to be very helpful, especially if we find some things. It just kind of removes the need for having regular torches. And then also I did take you guys' advice. You guys were like, oh, use the stairs properly. Bam. Um, you just right click with an open hand and it takes you right to the top or bottom. That is so nice. I didn't know that was a thing until you guys let me know in the comments. This is why I read the comments. Um, so another thing you mentioned is this can fit in a bobble slot, which is great. And I can use a hotkey to open it up. So we're going to be definitely utilizing that. Now I want to figure out how to open this and upgrade it. I'm thinking, uh, you, so I went ahead and made the, the best upgrade that you can make, uh, by going, uh, just, you know, following the progression that this requires. And um, let's see if this uh, this functions. So hold on, let me just get it on my back. There we go. And I'm thinking this goes inside of the bag. Upgrade it? No, how does this, how does the upgrade work? That is confusing. I might have to figure this out. Cause I was thinking Sometimes, you know, they're like, oh, put it inside the bag and that upgrades the bag. Doesn't seem to be the thing. Maybe it's an, you know, it could be an anvil recipe. I've, I've even tried putting it inside here to see if that upgrades it, but it doesn't. Hmm. Okay, I get how this upgrade system works. So technically you can only upgrade once per tier. So, I mean, ouch uh, for me going ahead and upgrading this, but I guess it kind of saves me a little bit in the end. I still have some blank upgrades in which we can use, um, but I'm gonna have to take some of this leather and split it up because I do need a couple of those. Good thing these furnaces are super fast. I did take your advice as well and take this furnace and uh, replace it. So it's, it's back to a normal uh, type furnace. But anyways, this is the stuff we're gonna need because I need, I guess, to make the base wooden tier first, right? And then this can be applied to the bag. There we go. And then I need to make another wooden tier to get it up to stone tier. So it's a definitely sort of a progressive uh, sequence that we're going to have to take in order to do this. Like to upgrade to the next tier, I need another tan leather. So we're going to need a lot of leather. A lot. How much or how big did this open the bag, though? I'm guessing it added another. Yeah, it added another slot, which actually isn't bad. This is this is doable. This is doable. I just wanted a little bit of extra storage before we went on our little adventure just to make things a little bit nicer. So. All right, there's my leather. Looks like I need more string actually, but we're ready to go. We are ready to go. I have my sleeping bag, I have my pick, I have my sword, I have my bow, I have everything but a shovel, and it's about to be nightfall, which is great, which means we can sleep and get out of this cramped area and uh, head out on an adventure. I also wanna set up a nice garden today. This is gonna be another thing that we end up doing, which is gonna be pretty nice, pretty nice. Now there are some prefab things that we can do that I haven't really got into, um, that we're, we'll probably get into eventually. They do take a little bit of time to build up those prefab things, um, and eventually we can buy them. So, I'll meet you guys after I sleep. So we have managed to go in this direction and a little bit in this direction, but we don't know what's behind us. So I think taking this, uh, taking this chance to journey off in this direction is gonna be a good idea. Um, and we're also gonna probably take on some, some mobs while we're at it like some cows and things like that, just to give us, like I said, more leather. And of course I have this nice diamond sword with no enchants. That's another thing I want to focus on getting is enchants as soon as we, we possibly can. Well, it just seems kind of uh, empty. And by the way, the reason I'm, I'm running so fast is because of those boots that we ended up getting. They have uh, the nimble on it. That is such a nice enchant, by the way. Such a nice enchant. All right, I think we should take and sail off and, uh, well, you know, I'm kind of scared because we, we probably shouldn't sail off too far. Water is pretty dangerous. You know what? I'm I actually don't want, I, I don't want to sail. Um, I'm kind of worried. I'm kind of worried about doing this. There are a couple of things that can kill us. Oh, that scared me. There's a couple of things that could potentially kill us. Sirens? 
and giant monsters, sea monsters, that could potentially be in the water. Ooh, there's some crabs. Well, those seem friendly. Look at that little dude. Ow. Okay, maybe not friendly. But still. Still cool. Oh. Come on, man. Don't be like that. Little, little fellas from Cork. Yeah, how cute. Well, I guess that's that's all this island has to offer, right? I mean, I don't see much else. What is that thing? Is that a, just a... Oh. That is so... That is so funny. Little starfish in the water like that. That... Wow. Okay. Yeah, they're different colors, too. Look at that. It's just like... Wow. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm literally freaking out over a, like, ge geometric shape. Like a very simple one. All right, let's head back over to this separate part. I'm still just really nervous about uh, what could potentially be in the water. That is probably the scariest thing, is just not knowing what could be in the water. Oh, man. So over here, it looks like a mountain is loading up. Kind of an interesting structure as we sort of get closer to it. We still see our bases over there, but I don't know how far away exactly we are. I want to try and keep an eye out on this. Some of you guys did point out that you did see a dragon, which I, I totally missed that. But some of you guys said in the comments that you guys seen a dragon and it's near our base, which is kind of terrifying because I haven't, for one thing, heard a dragon, nor have I seen a dragon. But you guys said that there was one that exists already. Not a very big one, but definitely exists, which is kind of terrifying. I think we're back over in that same area where we adventured a while back ago. Yeah, we're de we definitely are. We didn't we didn't go this way. I kind of want to just you know flesh out our island. Ooh, there's some dogs here. Oh, that's so good. If we had some bone and stuff, we could tame them. Uh, there is a mod in here called Doggy Talents, which would be really, really cool to play around with. Bam. Get that one shot crit. There we go. Yeah, look at these guys. They're all different. Get out of here. Little spiders all over the place. All right, I'm, yeah, I'm still kind of on the lookout. What is this? This is a, a really cool structure. Like, these are like the trees that just never were fleshed out. Still, I'll take some wood. So it does seem like this really does start to open up. I've sort of made my way around over here, like just uh, worked my way around this whole area and uh, trying to kind of just just kind of zone out around our, our map. Oh, there's a duck. And um, looks like we're kind of actually finding some stuff. There's definitely a building over here. Is this a village or? I don't actually know. Swords up just in case. Let's take some pumpkin. Might as well. What is this building? I don't see any, I see a witch. I see a couple of witches. Ooh, I see three witches. These are definitely not my friend. If we take a couple of couple of them out, that might help us a little bit. <gasps> How did I just get levitation all of a sudden? All right, come on. This is a little bit more, I think, than a regular village. It's definitely a witch's village. Uh-oh. Oh. oh, no, the loot. Oh, that was nice. I don't know if you guys have seen. Oh, that loot is so good. The 
Okay. Okay, we're getting levitation again. Is there something in here? We're knocking on the door. Let me in. Anyone here? Doesn't seem like anyone's here. All right, let's go around. There's definitely still some bad guys around. I kind of like this place though. Kind of do. All right, that was a witch we took out. Oh man. Yeah, we're definitely finding some stuff. Okay. Okay, all right. And it's becoming nighttime. What challenge elemental wizardry? Element mastery. Wow. Okay. We'll figure out what that is as soon as we're done sleeping. That probably has to do with us getting the wand of sparks. Which has empty slots, which is fine. Just means we can put some stuff on here. But what is this? Is this a... I hope this is master level. That would be crazy. Oh yeah, there's definitely a one in here. Bunch in here. Let's get these guys gone. Oh, I knew the poison was coming. Darn it. There went another poison. Okay. We just got to get over the poison for a moment. What's in here? You know, a, a, a building scepter is nice. Another wand? This is a good find. This is a good find. <laughs> this is definitely a good find. Let's throw everything in here. I'm just going to take it all. I might as well. And also, I'll take the books. Like, because why not? Right? Is there more? Is this it? All right. I think that's about it. So there is definitely another hut over here. And uh, yeah, it definitely has some witches in it. And this one is a rare Dark Lord Witch of Trolling? Did that say trolling? Oh my. Almost feels like there's a spawner. Witch spawner in here. Okay. It dropped a pickaxe. We'll find out how good that thing is. And, ooh, an inventory. Oh man, inventory crafting table. Upgrade. All we gotta do is eat this thing. An evoker fang? All right, I feel like this is uh, this is getting crazy. It's getting crazy now, all right? It's getting crazy to just give us an evoker fang. Chickpeas, we probably don't need that. A scroll of identification, I do need. I'll take that over sticks. Um, sugar, we can always get. And then there's the Pella. All right, fire bomb and smoke bomb, I'm not too interested in. Everything else, yeah, we can go ahead and leave. Wow. And then I'll take the rest of the books, of course. And this is a potion of something. A potion of luck for five minutes. Why not? Why not? Take a potion of luck any day. All right. Uh, now our books, I think I, yeah, I sort of put those in here by accident. What was on that helmet, by the way? Aqua Affinity and Depth Strider. So it's really not that great. Probably not worth having. This has affinity and power. We can combine these and give ourselves power three on top of uh, what we already have. Which could could work. Wow. I think we need to go back to our house and uh, drop off the loot and then uh, come back out because I think there's more. I wouldn't be getting this levitation effect again if there wasn't potentially more here. There's more to this, I feel. I don't know. Could be wrong. So we just got this Orichalcum sword, which is really nice. It does eight damage versus our seven, which is coming from this sword. So yeah, definitely switching over from that. I just dumped everything in this loot bin here. And I'm probably gonna set an anvil right there. That kind of fits perfect, doesn't it? Um, and then we're also getting these uh, heart crystal shards. These can be used to actually make a regular heart crystal. So later on down the road, we can totally use that. Now the evoker thing, Oh yeah, that's the evoker thing. I'm so surprised that we just got that thing. And we also got the wing charm on top of everything else, which is just, yeah, okay. Which uh, yeah, it gives us slow fall. So that's a that's a good thing to have um, and can go in a bobble slot. Uh, this is just crazy. So we got wand of sparks, which I'm assuming is a higher level 
It doesn't really say what it is. But I'm assuming this is a higher level wand. So that's going to be kind of cool. And we did find some buried treasure maps. So that's another thing. I think we should probably try to go after these. You know, we're really far away, I think. But I think we can manage. This one we're probably the closest to. And I think we should try and go after these buried treasure. Like, I don't know how far down they are. But it's definitely something worth, you know, going after. I would think. Well, I was about to go somewhere. And then I just got a message in chat saying a blood moon is currently rising. Um, Probably not a good thing. And I don't even know if we can sleep through a blood moon. I don't know if that's a thing. Normally it puts a red tint on everything. I don't know how that's going to work with, uh, with the shaders on. But I am kind of... Kind of curious. As to how this is going to work. Yeah. I'm going to see if we can sleep. Because I really want to get on with the adventure. And really, we're just going to be stuck in our house until the next day if we can't sleep, right? So, yeah, you can't, you, feel, you don't feel tired enough to sleep. This could, be, this could get quite interesting. I already see mobs approaching on us. Already. All right, there's already a ton of mobs. Oh, no, I've shot him. So, maybe... As long as we stay in our fence, we'll be fine. Potentially. I mean, this could be a good chance. Uh, this could be a good chance for getting experience and getting a lot of mob drops, potentially. Hopefully there's no like super crazy flying mobs. Look at all these silverfish, though. And they're coming from these hungry, hum hungry zombies. That's insane. Yep. All right. So here's our first rare encounter. They could potentially hurt us like from a distance. So we got to be careful on what we go after. But I'm already seeing a bunch of stuff down down below us. Yeah. Come on, guys. Come on. Get out of here. Got a Man. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Like that's something that some of these mobs can do. Actually throw us in the air. All right. Yep. This guy. The mighty zombie. Oh, come come on. Can you cows just go somewhere else? <laughs> All right, so I guess I'm going to be uh I'm going to be harvesting this out for a little while. And I guess when, you know, this is over, we'll find out, you know, we'll find out what loot we got. Kind of curious actually so after a pretty long night of just continuously killing mobs which i mean was pretty easy over the fence um i mean it's easy as of right now we did get quite a bit of loot like i'm not gonna lie there's a lot of loot here and uh yeah we kind of need to sort this out all right so one thing i did get was a lot of bone which was nice we also got some uh armor pieces which is probably a little bit better than what i currently have but the cool thing is is we got all these loot bags um from all of that work so let's go ahead and clear out all the loot bags and let's open them up and see what we got, right? Cause that's gonna definitely add to everything else. And then we'll go head out and see what we can't find today. So this is uh, book bags. Uh, these are from Dungeon Tactics. So these, yeah, sometimes we'll give you just a book or give you some scrolls. This is what, a lumberjack? Gives me a sapling, a tool bag. Okay, gave me a golden ax and then an old quiver. I think this gives you like random Arrow types. Nice. So spectral arrows. A food bag. Gives you random food, which I can't complain about. Record bag. Gives you a random record, which is awesome. And then a ore bag, which gives you random ore types. Okay. So not too bad overall. Still like a lot of, just a lot of stuff we ended up getting. Um, just random loot, basically. Um, other than that, not too much. So on this map here, we definitely have, uh, we have to go north. So we're gonna be taking it a little bit north and then also heading a little bit east as well. And that should put us in the general vicinity 
for where this is at. Probably up near where we were actually at to begin with. And by the way, I did figure out what was giving me levitation. It's actually flowers from Dungeon Tactics. I keep forgetting that there are the random flowers on the ground from Dungeon Tactics that are causing some issues. Um, yeah, we should start to see our little dot at the very bottom get larger as we make our way over here to where this treasure is located. Wow, okay, our dot's definitely getting a little bit bigger, but this is a tower that I was actually hoping to find along the way, and it's funny that we actually just ran right into it. Um, so up inside this tower, we should be able to find a little guy. There's a guy here. And this table is something that I want to do or use, but I won't be able to unless I have some crystals, unfortunately. Um, but I can see what this is. So it's just a random, just a regular wand of sparks. What do you have to offer? Hmm, not much here. I was, I needed some of these uh, crystals. We might be able to find some flowers on the ground. Sometimes you can find the flowers and they'll have the crystals. Very unlikely. Oh, actually, we got one right here. Look at that. We take this and I believe this gets converted into that. Yeah. So there we go. We, we can use this and gives us another projectile based uh, wand, which this is getting into Electro Bob's wizardry. Let's make our way up here. It is kind of ugh, hard to get up here, especially when you have speed on your boots. All right. We put this in here, put this here, and we can set this as our first spell, hit apply. And now we have our first spell which is called Magic Missile, which is really good. It's like a uh, pretty decent uh, attacking move, right? It's kind of like a uh, an arrow, more or less. All right, so we're getting pretty close to where we need to be. Um, right over here, it looks like we need to be heading more this direction. But more or less, we're getting there. We are definitely getting there. Oh yeah, we're definitely getting close. By the way, these are the uh, Tropicraft uh, pineapples. Probably want to take these. I'm going to definitely nab these guys up. Um, and as you can see, it's already starting to uncover some of the grassy areas. So yeah, we're definitely getting close. I am so curious as to what is going to be inside this. Like, And this will let us know if these are actually worth finding. Um, and I think these are directly... I think these are... I don't... I, if I remember, this might be a map that is showing us be right down here. Hopefully this is, uh, oh, right here. Yeah. Okay. So it's just, I mean, it's just a regular loot chest. I mean, it does have a little bit of cool stuff in it. Maybe, I mean, manuscripts are kind of nice to get as it kind of unlocks everything in the book for ice and fire. But I mean, to be honest, that that loot was kind of, uh, I don't know. It did lead us on a journey. I am going to go ahead and slaughter the rest of these cows and then we might head over in this direction. I don't know. I did kind of notice that these trees were sort of changing over here. So I don't know exactly what biome this is, but boy, do they look gorgeous. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, you guys look dangerous. Holy moly. Nope, 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 nope. And we don't have our food on us. What was that? What are those? What are those? All right. Get out of here. Quit. It's nighttime, too. I'm not going to be able to sleep. Okay. I don't know what those were. Horrifying. Horrifying. That's all I can say. They were, sh they were shooting barbs of something at us. And what they drop? What is this? Bronze? Oh, it's from Ice and Fire. That's... That can't be a good thing. All right. That can't be a good sign if it's from Ice and Fire. That's the Dragon's Mod, by the way, if you didn't already know. There's poor little snail. Well, this place seems really interesting. I think we're going to have to come back and visit this later. On my way back. What? Even. 
This is a huge bone structure. So much bone. What even? How? How can such a huge bone structure even exist? Like, is there something inside of it? That would be the only thing that makes sense. That's why we have a torch launcher. No! Nothing in here! But what you would probably normally see. It's... it's... It, well, I, I don't even understand. Just a lot of bone. There's even another bone structure over here. Wow, we're never we're never gonna run out of that resource, that is for sure. So we got a little bit done today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also give this video guys a huge thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you in the next episode, and as always, thanks for watching.